Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. If it looks super dark outside, it's because it's about to rain. Big surprise. There is a ton of pigeons now. Yeah, you allow two and then they all come. They have made a home for all their pigeon friends. Oh, I saw four. It was three came. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Wednesday. Happy, Happy Wednesday. Easter. Hi Chino. Storm needs his ice cream. Ice seat. It is still a bit chilly outside, but I'm happy to just be able to get outside. Guys, have our horses here. What? The morning's best. Morning's the best? Yeah, I had to spend time with the ponies. All right, so if you guys remember, we tried to buy all the grain we would need for a month. And I'm trying to calculate. So we have three and a half bags. I bet you that's only going to last us two weeks. Do you know that feeling when it's like rainy and dark outside and you get cozy in your house and put on movies and get ready to relax? That's how I feel at the barn. Like it gets dark and rainy and we're in the barn. It feels so cozy and it makes you want to clean it. Unless it's cold. No, it doesn't. Unless it's cold and it's a bit cold. Somehow my mitts got out of my pocket. Oh no, they're there. So if you guys are noticing anything different today, it would be that Gabby dyed her hair. I'm looking good. And Sophie's looking good. Well, how, why are you looking good? Has. How are you looking good? My face isn't dirty. Yes! Her face is not dirty. She is looking good. And she brushed her hair. I'm so proud of you. It's normal for young kids to not take priority in their appearance, brushing their hair, brushing their teeth, all that stuff. It's the parents' responsibility to get them into it. You guys see me on this channel all the time, uh, reminding my kids, getting them ready, preparing them, explaining what they need to do. Uh, but it all comes in time. Like you guys saw Gabby like that last year. Poof, this year she's like dyeing her hair, brushing her hair, curling her hair. And and now we're having to wait for her all the time, so I don't want to rush it. Don't rush the process, oh, people. Did I tell you that Chino broke my ribbon? Yeah, Chino ate Gabby's ribbon. I wonder if that's what, if he's trying to tell you something. You think he's trying to tell you something? That's a yellow ribbon. Yeah, so uh, Chino's saying, Chino ate a yellow ribbon. What place is that? No, he just grabbed it. And then pulled it and that car ripped off. So what we can fix it. You wanna bring it up to the house There's and we'll fix it? Place. It's a fourth place. He's saying we don't want no stinking fourth fourth places. I think I want this on Finney and Hat. Aw. And then the other one was sorry. Disclaimer, fourth place ribbons are perfectly acceptable and fine and wonderful and amazing. So don't think I think that don't think I'm hating on the fourth place ribbons. Me. Okay, so these are all yeah. All right. Aw, uh, these are not all Gabby's ribbons. Well, Gabby has lots of ribbons in her here. room. These are the ones that she chooses to put down here. Come over here. My ribbons are in my room. This is my favorite I have ribbon. like some that are bad, but I have first, second, reserve champion, first, first, this is my second, favorite second, ribbon. second. Do you second. Really want one of these? Sophia? She put all her first and seconds. Not all. She has a lot of firsts at home. Oh, my, all my first. That one is gorgeous. What is that? So it's just a normal ribbon. Yeah, but is it what? It's a reserve champion? It was from Derby. Like the Derby. She got reserve champion. Second place. I got this for my first ever show. No, it's there's no champion in reserve. It's just first place, champion, second place. Oh, she got second place. This is my from my first and ever show. And I put that on Storm, so y'all should be proud. While we are talking about ribbons right now, you should all know that one of our show series is canceled for this season already, and I expect all of them to follow suit. I actually think that all of our shows are gonna be canceled this season. Trillium. Yeah, all of them. The Trillium, the schooling shows, it was a schooling show that got canceled for the whole season. I think it's gonna happen, and here's the thing. If we can't show this year, we are gonna rock trails. We are gonna rock the trails. We are gonna, that's, that's what we're we gonna do. Yeah, yep, we're gonna jump jumps in the trails. You wanna jump jumps? Sure. I am not doing trails. No, we are all doing trails, and I'll be but scared back there with you, Sophie. To do a Western then. Yeah, like we are gonna be doing trails. Like if that's what we can do, that's what we can do. We'll be spending our weekends going on trail rides, inviting friends to come with us, and that's we're gonna master the trails because it's a big fear for me. All right, let's get this party started. Comment below what is a big fear for you. Everybody, everybody has fears. Comment below what is a big fear for you. It could be riding related or life related. What is your biggest fear out there? Well, what would be life related? Stage one, step one of conquering your fears is acknowledging. Acknowledging what it is. 
down leg trails spin and me went underneath the trees. Yeah, so you're traumatized with that one thing? Yeah. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I, I don't like trails either because there's just so much going on at one time. Like, I, I need slow it's and easy. The time I was pushing bushes away, and the next time so I almost died. We will go slow on trails, and we will not let you go first. I also hate very big steep hills. Me too. <laughs> Ugh. Well, we, we will find nice trails. Even if we'll go on the baby trails. And Gabby and Kaylee will go on the advanced trails. Okay? Okay, we'll go on the one that you With just my... have to walk. Yeah. That might not be good. Wow, you guys are experienced no, enough. Just He's my... got the balls and you guys got the experience. He's brave. Yeah, but mm, he might not make it. <laughs> so just bring Fiona. Okay, here's the plan. Sophia. He's holding a pony, and you're holding a pony. I'm gonna bring Chino out and hold him, and then you're gonna give Sophia the pony, the other pony, so she can hold both of them, because she'll be fine. And then I'm gonna go get Finn? And then you're gonna grab Finn. Okay. And then you're gonna I'm take a pony. Two ponies. And then after you give me Finn, you're gonna take a pony. All right, I'll hold two ponies. Sounds like we're gonna die. No. So this is the plan for today. It's supposed to rain uh, most of the day. It looks like it's about to rain. It's only supposed to be sprinkles, but Storm is locked in his stall. I'm just tuning in now. You might not know that Storm sprained an ankle. So, in the field. So, we are adjusting. Oh, oh hi. Pigeons. Somebody said, get the pigeons out. I agree now. Like, they're just bringing all their friends. We're overrun by pigeons. Well, okay. I hated them, now I love them. Yeah, I don't love them anymore. Okay, so. We are gonna change things up on the day-by-day -day farm and we're gonna let the boys in the outside out here so that they're able to see Storm, Storm's able to see them. We're gonna put the ponies in for the day. Uh, sometimes horses go in during the day and out at night and sometimes they go out at night and in during the day, no. <laughs> and vice versa. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're going to switch things up. We're gonna switch things up. I'm putting my shoe on. I'm putting my shoe on in case bad things happen. Um, we're gonna switch things up so that Stormy Boy's not alone. Horses are happy, well adjusted. Let's do it. Ruby, Ruby, get Ruby, get Ruby. Keep Ke Chino! Ruby, come on Ruby. Ruby, bed. So, Chino is not a fan of Ruby, I feel like. Finn begs Chino for his hay. Mm -hmm. Sorry I didn't get to leave you out, Ben. Not afraid to bring it up, we laugh when times are rough All of is enough to carry us through You bring me roses on a Tuesday Kiss me at the red light We both like to walk down in Shelby Park You hold my head at bedtime, you know my favorite wine This is why we work, why it's you and I Turn to me and say, come on, let's get away. 
Good boy. Who's itchy? Huh? Who's itchy? The water's coming out. She closed. Mom, you should have been in there. Why? Okay, so let me show you what she knows doing. Chino, Chino. I went to take Finn's blanket off. She was outside, and he kept pushing this. All right. So update on the Chino situation. We have had him for four months. Almost four months. No, no, four months. No, next week. No. We got him January fourth. Fifth is when we tried him. Okay, so we got him January. We got him Wednesday. Okay, so we got him January fifth. So that means May the 5th, he'll be four months, it'll be four months. So he was like. I like he being right. Chasing. Hardly ever am right, but I like it. He was chasing that ball and pushing it with his nose. Okay, so Chino update. Lately, this boy has really come into his own. He's starting to get more friendly, more fun. He's taking charge of his environment more. He, we walked into the arena and he had this ball in his mouth and he was shaking it and he is just really starting to become a part of his environment. Not so much maybe um, understanding everything we want from him yet, but he's really starting to settle in. He's like, it took four months, you guys, for him to like begin to settle in. But he's really starting to be a horse again, I feel like. He was really having fun. Yeah. 12 years he lived at the home that he was born at, 12 years, and then he's been away for four months. So in, re so in reality, he's been, it didn't take that long of a time, but it does take time for horses to settle in. It takes so long for you to see the true horse when you get a new one. He likes Finn, and he's the boss of Finn. Every time I look outside to check on the horses, he and Finn are always standing close to one another. They're always standing side by side. They're buddies. They get along. He is the leader of Finn, but he's also like a gentle leader. And Storm is always off on his own, uh, which suits me fine. Storm keeps everybody in line. Everybody in check. It's working out well. Storm makes sure nobody gets like very bad. Yeah, Storm is amazing. So with Storm's injury, uh, we chose not to give him Butte. If you guys don't know, Butte is like a pain, pain medication. Uh, we were told that, that because, um, because there was no swelling, they said not to give it to him. Um, it can be hard on their tummy, so best not to give it unless they absolutely need it. Um, one thing I'm super grateful for is that we, were, we got blessed with a pretty happening first aid kit. So we have a Banamine for when they have colic. We have Butte for pain and inflammation. Mation. We have ACE in case of emergency, like, you know, anything can happen and you have to sort of sedate your horse. Uh, we have Prevacox if we need it. It's also for pain. We have a great first aid kit that was sent to us by Tough One, and it is amazing. Now that I think about it, the vet told us to use ice packs. And I said we didn't have one, but we do. But it already is uh, used. Still kind of cold though. Anyway, Tough One actually makes one of the best first aid kits that I've seen out there. We also have needles, syringes, lots of gauze, hand sanitizer, lots of wet wipes, gauze, antiseptic cleaners, I absolutely love these huge syringes. I use the syringes for our antibiotics. We actually have antibiotics as well. Having all these medications on hand it really makes me feel much more confident because if any emergency happens, I'm able to treat the horse before the vet arrives. You guys know sometimes the vet doesn't arrive super quickly. I mean, usually they do, but at least I have something here that I can start to treat them before they arrive. Or um, if it's something minor like uh, Storm's leg, then I have the ability to treat it at home without having to have a vet visit to get the medication. There was a time we didn't even have a uh, brush or a saddle pad so having all those medications definitely i feel really super grateful for them all right let's leave 
When it is warm out, we spend way more time in the barn doing chores, playing with the horses. We'll come down later and play with them. We'll come down later. I wasn't playing with him, he was playing with me. He's like, ooh, there's the girl I love to kiss. You have to be careful kissing him. He gets right into it. <laughs> Holy heck! Baby Molly was quiet when we walked in the door. Super quiet, like we didn't even hear her coming in the door. She is learning, you guys, mastering it. If you guys saw yesterday's video, you, you will have seen that Molly follows Gabby everywhere. She's found her place in our house, in our hearts, like she gets everything. Gabby has taught her to sit, she's taught her to lay down, she learns like that, obviously. Um, today, today Gabby was doing a spin trick with Ruby, and the puppy was like, oh, move over Ruby, and she jumped up and did a spin. It was so glorious. Potty training, amazing. She's had two accidents, both Gabby's fault. Um, it's going phenomenal. I always dreamed of a dog that we could have sleep in our bed with us. Never had a puppy that slept through the night so well and found such a good routine with us. Like, it's been incredible, incredible. If you give a girl some bread, she will eat for a day. But if you teach a girl to bake bread, she will be, be able to eat bread forever. So that's what we've done. Now, all I need to do is teach them to clean up after themselves. I did, I put it all on the sink. She can't just go free. You need to be able to catch her. Apparently, some at some point yesterday, she got the idea that we were not going to let her eat horse poop. I see her. Yeah, so I'm going to blame that on Chino. We moved everything as far as we could from here because he ripped everything down. What are you doing? This guy's turning into like quite the powerful boy. So, were you eating chives? So we have chives growing in our garden. If you don't know, it's like- and we're a, getting more chives. It's a, planted chives. it's a type of green onion. And I can smell every time Here's the girls eat I them. Planted. Careful, because I do not think that he likes dogs. Okay. Wait, so wait. He likes babies. No, this morning, Ruby was in the barn. Just doesn't like Ruby. Yeah, because you scared her, him with Ruby. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. well that's payback. Now he's gonna kill Ruby. Ruby was in the barn this morning and Gabby took him off his lead rope and he came right for Ruby like oh, I thought he was gonna try and stomp her. The farrier messaged me and asked how Storm was doing. This morning his leg was completely cold. It was like cold um, and I feel like it was yesterday morning too. And then it got hot later in the day. So I'm gonna feel it now. I just want to rule out that it's uh oh it's so cold. Poor guy, he's frozen. Why are his legs, I mean this one's frozen because it was wet and it's winter. I mean he's frozen, I don't think we should do that to him anymore, that's awful. Door. Okay. Hi. You're, oh, are you okay? Yeah, I kind of walked into it. Your, ooh, your puppy may or may not have ran in the mud. What the heck? I washed her feet off, put her in the crate, and she didn't make a single sound. It's a lot of hair on the ground. See, it's like, like this up at here because oh, the blanket. It's supposed to go like that. She has my neck, so the blanket's not. So you should get your cowboy magic and fix her hair. Way ahead of me. <laughs> Came out to clean this area, and 
just from having the horses out here, I noticed that most of the hay, like all that extra hay that was out here, is mostly gone. It's gonna be such an easy cleanup. I also plan to clean up the boys' field once I move them to the next field. So what I think I'm gonna do, I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing each each time we change them fields. I'll clean it out, all the poop and stuff out instead of pick, poop picking all the time because it's there's just so much. Like you just can't ever get ahead of it. I think I'm gonna wait until they're done in that field, clean it all out, spread it if I wanna do that, and then just clean the fields after I move them. So we got Gabby here riding Western. This is going to be a fast western horse. But not the feral racer. So we were going to take him for a walk, but it's really windy out. It's nice out, but it's super, super windy. And neither of us felt like going out there in that wind. You are allowed to rise in a western. I asked Fiona and she said yes. What made you decide to ride in the western? Oh, because she has jeans on and she's not changing. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years have gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the air, always something in the air It's a Terrifying as the birds fly around. Okay. Terrifying. Terrifying. Do you miss me at all? About the things we used to do No, you couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? 